America may soon be spending less on space exploration. On Friday, rumors swirled that NASA could see its budget cut by nearly 20 percent. Elon Musk, owner of SpaceX and an advisor to President Donald Trump, called those reports troubling. Most of the cuts are expected to occur within NASA's science budget, which includes telescope and satellite programs. While details haven't really been revealed about all of the proposed cuts, one area that could see a hit, STEM engagement and outreach. The administration spends about $140 million each year on a variety of programs. KXN's Eric Hendrickson takes a closer look at one program and the local students who would be impacted by budget cuts. I want to explore Saturn's largest moon, Titan, in case a huge comet could crash into Earth. Central Texas students planning trips across the solar system. There's so many things you could explore in space, like um, different planets, different moons. Third grader Anika Lal is one of this year's semifinalists in the Power to Explore Challenge. Presented by nonprofit Future Engineers and NASA, the challenge tasks K through 12 students to learn about nuclear power and write an essay, planning a trip to their favorite moon. So this is the parachute, this is the camera, and these are the fans for landing. We want them to start thinking about what else do they want to learn? What else could we discover? Kristen Jansen with NASA says these outreach programs both inspire kids and even have led to careers with the space agency. For the last two years, NASA has set aside around $140 million for these programs. We've been able to actually decrease costs by using this particular contract to do some of this work for us. A draft budget obtained by tech news site Ars Technica and shared by our partners at the Hill revealed that all of NASA's budget could be cut by 20 percent. Kristen said NASA is looking at more contracts with outside partners to further expand STEM outreach. You can learn new things when, you, when you're doing science. If you make mistakes, like for example, when you're doing a volcano, you forgot to add baking soda, then you, then you learned that you should add baking soda next time. Wise words from a potential future scientist. In Pflugerville, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. And NASA has a presence here in Central Texas beyond STEM outreach, including ongoing research at the University of Texas and a nearly $200 million contract with Cedar Park-based Firefly Aerospace.